What's going on, comicbook.com? I'm Jim Viscardi. We are here at New York Comic Con, now with all our coverage being presented by Whatnot, and we are here with the Vox Machina crew. Guys, season two, what, what kind of, what kind of like, pressure we feel in, you know, heading into, heading into this one? Oh, I, I mean... I mean, we weren't <laughs> until now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do we do? Look, should oh, we God. be concerned? Everyone, I mean, look, everyone loved it, and so you know, everyone's excited that that you guys are back. So I, you know, and as you guys do some of the other stuff with Kurgle and stuff like that, like going into this, like you said, like what what is the thing that you want to make sure that you're delivering for fans, but also for this giant world that you guys have built? I think just a continuation of the energy and story. I mean, luckily we did the seasons one and two together okay. from our from our Kickstarter and from the support of our fans and obviously our great partners at Prime Video. Um, but season two just gets us out of Taldore. We get past the Briarwoods and we don't even get a break. No, nope. <laughs> we go, we go, we listen to, you know, Uriel, he's talking and then the bells start ringing and a bunch of flying things, a bunch of death machines start coming our way. So. Um, you know, the Chroma Conclave arc is a very famous arc from our from our live stream and mm -hmm. something we're excited to show. Uh, so we get that plus uh, a, a deeper dive into all of the characters in season two. We had a great focus on Percy in season one. So now you get to see what the rest of the, the group is all about and what makes them tick. I, I got to ask because so season one uh, plays a pretty big role in, you know, the your current campaign in, in Critical mm -hmm. Role. Oh, yeah. Right. So is that so is that something where like season one comes out? And obviously, you know, the response is like, did you at all, did you, have, did you have the campaign kind of set already knowing that you had uh, one or did anything happen either based on fan response or whatever that, to make you kind of tie it all in? It wasn't fan response. Really, it just came from the characters that you and Liam created. You, you tied an element of White, or Whitestone and Keyleth into your backstories. And then we played it through naturally and it just sort of became a thing so like it wasn't intended like it'll be a tie into our series like yeah. we'll use it to yeah. to fight in the fan excitement of Vox Machina it just kind of naturally came out that way and it's, mm -hmm. it's kind of a, a cool emergent story mm -hmm. uh, look you guys are no strangers to you know to to voices and stuff like that but obviously since you you mentioned you'd done this one together um, are you guys or filmed together are you guys just like itching for for like season three and to to kind of get to kind of get into it and get back into those voices or oh yeah i mean it's the most fun in the world to play a character that you helped create with your friends your best friends uh who also created their characters and you know we've we've lived in these characters and in this world for so many years just as as pals and now we get to do it on a, a bigger stage uh for for uh an animation project that's going to be seen by the whole world and uh it's so thrilling for us to step back into the characters every time we do it's not like it gets old or boring it's it's the opposite it's mm -hmm. like now we get to go on a, a on a bigger stage and do bigger things with bigger magic and it's it's just funner and funner as we go. Oh, I yeah. love it. I mean, at the end of campaign one, we all bawled our eyes out because we were like, oh man, you're mourning the loss of like this right. character. But then in the back of our heads, we knew that this wasn't gonna be the last time we were gonna see them. Mm -hmm. So really kind of following the path again and walking in their shoes again, it's, it's really rewarding. That's awesome. Yeah. Have you guys seen uh, fans who may not have not, I mean, it, I feel like it's hard to not know what Critical Role is, but have you found fans oh, basically sure. to, you know, that saw Vox and they're are coming in and- Yeah, a lot. Tremendous <laughs> amount actually, <laughs> yeah. which yeah. is crazy. It's yeah, really I, I've seen some folks, I, it was always like in the back of my head, I, I knew it was a possibility, but I've seen folks on social media who are just like, I love these characters, I love this world. And someone's like, have you seen the live stream? And they're like, what live stream? <laughs> <laughs> um, and there's more of this? <laughs> like, it's so great for, for people to come into the show from the animated series. It's great to come from the live stream into the animated series. Mm -hmm. Some people have discovered Critical Role from comic books and, and yeah. novels and stuff. However you find it though, it's like, it's such an amazing world that Matt has, has created and you can just get lost in it for as short or as long as you'd like to. Yeah, like, I think what I say me is our live stream campaign it it's it's genuine it's honest it's also long form and it's a mm. big time commitment and a lot of people who are friends and family who like want to engage but just don't have the the attention span or the, the free time to do it this is now for media where they get to enjoy the story in a very visual very engaging way within the time that they have so mm -hmm. on top of it just being an additional way for us to tell these stories it's also a great way for people who don't have that ability to commit to our main campaign to still jump in and love it alongside the rest of us that's awesome we're we gonna see grog's beard 
Ooh. You know? <laughs> Boy, just coming straight at her. Right? <laughs> I mean, my, 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 my man Grog also strengthens your beard. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Like, I, I feel like he's been naked all of season one, so you better believe that I was in the room going, as soon as we're able, as soon as we're able, we need, we need Grog to have his beard. He's half a man without it, so hopefully so. Yeah. Ho- hopefully yeah. so. Hopefully so. Uh, what about uh, Craven Edge? Well, another great thing you might see. That's the thing, Lisa. Anybody that knows from the live stream, uh, we hope that there are people throwing out uh, fan theories and conspiracy theories and what are they going to hit this season and mm. what's coming up and, and what are they going to tie in. But if you are familiar with the Chroma Conclave uh, in the way that um, we know a lot of people are and, and picking moments from it that we love, mm-hmm. uh, I think fans will be very, very happy with what they catch in season two. Awesome. Mm-hmm. All right, and one last question before I let you guys go. We're you just looking forward to for the, this weekend at the convention, right? Like, oh. You know, conventions are back. Like no. San Diego, we had San Diego earlier this year, but New York, you know, right, always has a bit of a different energy to it. Yeah. You know, what, uh, what do you guys love about just, you know, coming to cons? For me, I've been coming to conventions since the mid 90s. Like I've, I'm a convention kid before I even started doing it on the professional side. And so I'm looking forward to possibly hiding incognito and going and seeing that showroom floor. There That's the thing that I miss so much. <laughs> <laughs> is going and getting to see all the cool booths and what mm-hmm. people are presenting out there. So you're at the point where you just have to like wear a mask now. And Weirdly, like, yes. <laughs> I never thought I'd be there, but uh, but I am there, and uh, I'll figure it out. There you go. He wears, <laughs> a, he wears a mask of Travis's face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's walking around and they're like, man, the hair is so beautiful, but the, the face is hideous. <laughs> yeah. You know that Aphex Twin video was weird. This is even weirder. <laughs> Awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much for spending time with us. Really do appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having us. For more Critical Role and Vox Machina, keep it locked into comicbook.com.